It's like that close. Oh, okay. That's like so cool. I love your camera. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see the best. This. So my students are working on a two-step equations project. It's not a traditional project test um, where they just give a bunch of two-step equations that they have to solve, but instead they are asked to create their own two-step equations. And so I have six different equations here, um, and a couple of them they have to create where they have to combine like terms, um, where they have to multiply the variable first and then add or subtract something to it. That shouldn't say to solve it though, because to solve it you would have to do the opposite of that. Um, but they're doing six of them, and then creating a word problem, um, and these are the things that I'm assessing them on. So let's see how they're doing. How's the process coming along, Emily? Pretty good, I'm almost done. And this is actually kind of fun because like, you have to make the problems yourselves and then like solve them using all these like different skills that we've learned. But it's really hard to make it into a word problem, which I'm trying to do right now. Okay, good luck. Yay. <laughs> Uh, what is actually happening when you're solving for a variable? Well, if it, you, you see the problem, and then you do the opposite of that problem. How do you know to do that first instead of undoing the divided by 16? That was the, that doesn't include x in it, and um, usually finding x is the thing that you do last, mm. and so you need to go backwards okay. from what you did. And then I multiplied by 16 because x is being divided by 16. And so I did that with the answer too. Mm -hmm. And so that left me with x equals 36. And you also get to like um, come up with your own problems, which is fun. So you can be like creative in that kind of way. When you divided them into amongst groups to give, yeah, when you amongst divide. his friends, yeah, his Windows three and a half happens. friends. Wait, no. <laughs> he, no, he divided them into groups. Why would you divide cookies? Into groups of 3.5 cookies. Know.